Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2022. As we continue our run here in the first division in Russia, and things have been going uh, a little bit mixed. Uh, some good, some bad. Uh, we've picked up a few new players, but we definitely have our work cut out for us if we want to make anything um, really good out of the season. Although I would say that we've at least achieved what we needed to this season. So let, let's get into the episode. All right, here we are looking at the schedule. We are past the winter break, so it's just straight haul through these last 10 games, and that's it. Uh, as you can see here, we did have a couple losses, close losses, unfortunately, uh, and then we've had a couple wins. So not the greatest thing in the world. I mean, Fakel here is only, well, I guess they're seven. They're a little bit higher up than I remembered. Um, we should not have lost this game, though. Uh, they picked up their last goal in the 86th minute, but we had a goal from Galagen. We had a goal from Tekuchev and a goal from Daurov. So, I mean, we, we put up the goals we needed. We just couldn't hold up the defensive side for some reason. It was just very, very disappointing. Um, I'll show you the Baltica and other ones here in a second. But let me go actually go through the transfers because we have a couple of people we've picked up since uh, that Fakel game. Uh, and I want to show those off real quick. Uh, by the way, spoiler alert, we're going to be trying to bring in Harker in, uh, in July at the beginning of the next season. Is he going to be worth anything? I don't know. We'll find out. I figured, why not? Let's just have some fun with it and bring him in and see if we can do anything with him. If he turns out to be not at this level, no big deal. But here's the transfers we got coming in. We picked up four players in that time period, uh, four foreign players specifically. I just went and grabbed. I was like, we were, we were literally on like the last day. I hadn't found anybody yet. So I just went and said, okay, who's out of contract right now? Who does not, who would come on on a free transfer right now that could potentially add something to our team? And here's the players that we got. We got Lars Dietz here from uh, Germany. He comes in, current three-star, uh, potential is three-and-a-half star. He's already played three games, 6.87 average. Not too bad for somebody who doesn't know the language. Uh, overall, seemed like a decent pickup. Nothing nothing to start, you know, nothing crazy. Just a solid pickup that gives us some rotation or gives us a starter. Actually, like I said, he's been starting since he came. Uh, so just someone extra to throw into the mix and that can give us a little bit of something-something. Uh, Nicholas uh, Wailing here, or, uh, probably Wailing. Uh is uh, three, a two and a half star current could be as high as three star. Uh, he can play all over the place. He's got a lot of flexibility. That's one of the reasons I picked him up. Uh, 26 years old, just a fringe player, but he has also been starting a couple games. Uh, he's on a 7.05 rating, a little bit better. Um, but again, another another just Germany player that just, just to give us something else. Uh, we picked up Finn Arkenberg here. He comes in from also Germany. Apparently we, ha we had a lot of scouts heading to Germany. Uh, he's a two and a half star current, two and a half star potential. Just a French player. Again, more rotation. Uh, just someone else to back things up more than anything. Uh, he's 28 years old. Uh, unfortunately, he is injured right now. He's going to be out for several weeks. In fact, he might not make it back into the team by the end of the year. He's only had a couple of uh, uh, sub, sub appearances. He has not actually started at all. Of the four, he's probably the worst anyway, so it's probably okay. But it is a little bit unfortunate to have him injured right after we pick him up. And then finally, we pick up... Carlos Mas here. He's a uh, Spanish national. Uh, he comes in with four-star current ability, four-star potential. Definitely the best player that we picked up out of all of these. Um, can play a solid central defender. He's played three games so far, 6.87 average rating. Again, solid player so far. Nothing crazy good, but good, you know. So we're going to be playing all four of these guys when we can. Well, three of them at least, except for the injured guy. And the reason I wanted to show these guys first, because it will make uh, one of these scores. This one. Ah, uh, it's the next game. Uh, this game is another game we lost. Uh, again, should not have lost this game. Um, we, <laughs> no explanation. No explanation how they could score twice in three minutes um, and then picked up that late goal as well. So we did get a goal from Martinov uh, and we got a pick goal from Mal Malkinov, but it just wasn't enough. And it was very disappointing. Baltica, we should not have lost to. They're currently ranked 13th in the league. Uh, next, we went up against Volger here. And this is the game that uh, Veiling here picked up uh, two goals in this game, picked up a brace, uh, and then immediately picked up a, well, I say immediately, it was it was pretty quick for me because, the, you know, the highlight went by quick, quickly. But uh, right as the first uh, second half started, he picks up his red card, and we had to hold on a man short. Uh, thankfully, we did. They did pick up a goal in the 80th minute, but we were able to hold on and keep the win. And then finally, Krasnodar, 
Uh, I was going to show this game, but they were ranked 19th, and I was like, surely this is going to be an easy game for us. I'll show these other two games instead, especially since uh, Ska Kab Kabarovsk is a... Uh, Kabarovsk, yeah. Uh, it is a uh, third place, so I figured that'd be a better game to show you guys. So Krasnodar, uh, Krasnodar 2 here. Uh, we did pick up a penalty shot from Martinov and a pair of goals from Galagen. And other than that, yeah, it was a good game. Solid game. Everybody did what they needed to do and took care of business. So here we are in the league, uh, currently eighth place. Um, not too far off of the playoff slot slots up here, but... Further away than we were when uh, the last episode ended, I will say that. Um, but hopefully we can pull things back together. I'm a little disappointed, honestly, with those two losses. There's just no reason for those. But hopefully we can pull things back together and make up some ground in today's episode and in the last eight games that we have of this season. Oh, sorry, ten games of the season. Um, here's the team we're bringing today. Um, again, a couple new faces. We've got Chagrov and Go. Vorpev on the left, Moss coming in here again as a central defender alongside Martinov. Kisilev on the right-hand side. Dietz is actually going to play ball-winning midfielder today, which is a position he can play pretty well. Uh, so it's good to see him doing that. My Sultanov on the left, uh, Veiling on the right, and Tukachev and Taimentsev uh, in the midfield with Galajan up front. Uh, and that's it. That's going to be it. Uh, Sarah Mouton is currently suspended. That's the reason why he is hitting out. We've stuck with the same formation, nothing changing. Um, no reason to change anything, even though we did take a couple losses. We've just had enough good games that it seems like this formation is still working for us. All right, let's get this going. Please pick up where you left off before. Please and thank you. And we're off. Uh, it's going to be an early highlight for the other team, unfortunately. And an early goal for the other team. Oh my goodness. Not good, guys. Not good at all. These are our home fans. They deserve a better, better game than that, guys. Come on. I mean, I'd yell at the boys, but the game literally just started. I mean, it's just like, I just talked to you guys in the locker room. Instead of yelling at them, where's the where's the do-over button? I want a do-over, guys. I want a do-over. We are definitely being the ones being put under pressure right now. Like, we're not doing anything. Have not done anything. I mean, here's a highlight, but I'm not holding my breath. It's going to go for us because none of the other ones have gone for us so far. And there you go. Yeah, it's just going to go away from us. What are you guys doing? I mean, the highlight is continuing for some reason. Vorpev with the ball. It's enough to my Sultanov. And they're really putting a lot of pressure on us. I feel like we're getting really, really just closed down quickly. Dietz on the ball. Vorpev. Uh, my Sultanov. Tukachev. Uh, Tekuchev, sorry. Is uh, over here. He's going to get across. There's Galaget. Oh, my goodness. Of course, we get a good shot. And why well, I say good shot? A good chance for a shot. And it goes nowhere. All right. There's my Sultanov. Highlights. Deep in our field, or their side of the field, I should say. Vorpev over to Dietz. How did he do that? How did he do that? Superhuman goalkeeper here, apparently. All right, all right now I can yell at the boys. It's been long enough to give them a chance to get in there on their own. Wow. Oh my goodness. Of course we get an injury right before halftime. And we have nobody that can sub in there. Great. I don't think I want to bring Boutiev in here. Uh, we're going to bring... 
I'm bring Deeds over, and then we're going to bring Bauer off into that spot. Oh, goodness, guys. Why? Why do you do this to me? We had a good season going. Had a good season. Another chance here for Church and Ovo. Man. We should be beating this team three to three to nothing right now. Okay, maybe not maybe not three to nothing, but <laughs> that's just my feeling. I don't think it's based on any fact. Um Kiss Lev is playing terribly and nobody can come in for him, of course. Why do you have to be injured, Butiev? Why you know what? I'm just gonna bring you in anyway. Our season's on the line. I guess I should have brought more players in. We just didn't get enough still. Another highlight for the other team. Because of course it is. Oh, nope. It goes right back to us too, Kachev. Oh my goodness. Superhuman goalkeeper. Able to save that one, of course. Okay, then maybe that didn't take superhuman effort on that one, but... Of course, he's. I'm just. My point is that he's stopping everything that comes his way. Come on, guys. You guys just don't even look like you care. Like you didn't even move until the ball like landed and the guy sat down and tied his shoe real quick, and then, then you decided to move. Dara with the ball, and that was the end of the highlight. Of course, their goalkeepers are their goalkeepers on a 7.3. Ours on a 7.0. I'll give him credit for that, I guess. But 7.3, one of the best players on the field right now. Um, all right, Mr. Veiling here. I don't have anybody come in for you. We'll just bring somebody in to something, change something up. Uh, yell at him some more. <laughs> I'm not happy at all. Wow. You know what? You're pressured by the feedback. We will bring somebody else in here for you because you apparently are not happy. Other than that, everybody else seemed like they were in a good spot. We go very attacking. Nothing. I don't, I don't have an explanation for this. Soltanov pushing the ball up. Gets it back to Dietz. Darov over to Tayumensev. Of course the goalkeeper got that one. Highlight is continuing. And it's going to go for Chertanovo. Seven on target shots. Not a single go. I think that's 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 getting a little bit F into there. I mean, I don't know that we should deserve to win this game. I think we deserve to draw it for sure. I still would have been disappointed in the draw. We should not have drawn in the game. But given the stats, we should have gotten a goal. I mean, there's there's just no reason for that. Um Well, I think that grows our hopes of getting into the playoffs, unfortunately. I just I don't think we can chase down these other guys. I think these other guys are gonna be too good, too long. Honestly, we probably already had lost it by the time we got to this game because they're just, they're just, just a few points ahead of us is enough to stay ahead of us, I think. And I don't think there's anything we can do about it. It's just what we still had a good season. I'm not, I can't argue with that because we obviously were borderline relegation and we're now, we're way outside of relegation. So we had a good season, but it's just, it's disappointing. And my goodness, have we been getting injuries? Let's go look at the injuries here in a second. Um, where's the medical center? We have, Three to four months, three to five weeks, two to five weeks. Well, one to four days is not as bad, but um, we have a youngster, I think, that's out for a couple months as well. So we've had like four or five long-term injuries that popped up. Everybody's at very high injury risk. I mean, I don't know. I, it's not like I'm doing anything crazy here. I'm doing a lot of rotation. Obviously, I'm doing more rotation in this league than I've ever done in any of the other league. Well, and at least Curzon Ashton, because they only had three subs. So 
what you gonna do? All right, well, we'll be right back for game number two. It's gonna be even a tougher game. Uh, Scott Kavarosk. Um, let's see if we can at least get some point out of this game, out of this episode. All right, we're back for game number two here against Scott Kavarovsk. And can we turn around this kind of feeling like a bad end of the season? I, I don't know. I mean, we don't get me wrong. We've, we've won a couple games um, in there as well. But getting losses instead of draws is pretty pretty disappointing, obviously. It's like it's either a win or a draw. or Sorry, either a win or a loss. There's no, no draw in the middle. And either we win by a lot. Or we lose by one. And it's like, what's going on here? Uh, it's like two different teams. So we'll keep it up. We'll see what's going on here. Uh, this is a really, really tough team we're playing against today. Honestly, a draw today would be acceptable. Uh, maybe we should play for a draw. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if we can get into this. Early highlight, unfortunately, for the other team. I'll chase that one down, Martinov. Does get to it. Turns around, gets it to Sarah Mutin. There's Galajan. Should have scored on that one. He would have scored just about any other game we've seen him in. And for some reason, the last couple of games, he hasn't been scored. Uh, my Sultanov with the quarter kick gets it across. Nobody's able to get on that one. Time is able to chase it down, though. Turns it back around. Gets to the veiling. Over to my Sultanov. I think he might be offsides. Nope. Is it going to be a corner? It's going to be a corner. Okay. It looked like he might have been offsides. Another corner coming in from my Sultanov. We just don't have a good corner taker or corner uh, target like we did at Kurz and Ashton because just none of our guys are like either they're tall but don't have a good heading or they maybe they have some, you know, actually I don't think anybody has a good heading. There's a couple guys that are tall, but that's about it. Um, And here's the highlight for Kabarovsk. Come on, guys. Y'all had some really good defense there for a bit. What is going on today? Or the last couple games. Another highlight for the other team. Come on, clear this one out. Go. What are you doing? Why are you just standing there? That's the second time you've just stood there. <laughs> what is going on, my Sultan? Up? Pay attention. Either follow the dude that's running away from you or follow the ball. Pick one. Don't do neither. And of course, we're going to get another corner. I don't want to see these corners. <laughs> They're not mine. Now we get a corner. This one's mine. Actually, I don't want to see these either because so far, finally we get one. I was going to say, I don't want to see this one either because so far we haven't done good. <laughs> finally, we get one though. Finally. Can we hold on to this tiny, tiny one nothing lead? I have my doubts. But I know we're capable. I just don't know if we will. I'm, I'm going to let it go for a few moments, but I'm tempted to back off from attacking even. I'm just going to go positive and just stick it on positive for, for as much of the game as we can. Just kind of, I don't want to go super crazy. I mean, I don't want to back it up all the way because I feel like that's too, too Passive. I want to keep the pressure on them. Oh, we're getting a corner kick the other way right before halftime. Oh my. Why can we not have nice things? Not even taking a lead into halftime. We can't even have that. Ah. This game sometimes just <laughs> is so frustrating. Oh, my goodness. Totally unacceptable. At least they all turn around for that one. Giving them back a go at the at the halftime, completely unacceptable. I think the rest of the season is going to go exactly the way this game is going to go. Oh, we look pretty good. Nope, it was just a trick. I genuinely thought, you know, the four guys, or at least three of the four guys we brought in, made our team just a little bit better. And it was a complete 
it not true not true at all at the very least i didn't think it made it worse no, i don't want to see y'all's highlight again i'm not gonna watch your goal a second time oh my goodness Are we getting a real highlight here? No. Okay. Go okay, we're just going to save that one. I was going to say, that didn't look... Surely we're not getting a real highlight. All right. We're going to go back up to oh, attacking, I guess. Now nah, we got to go very attacking. We got to go crazy here. This might be the last game you guys see this season. I don't know if there's a reason to show anymore if we're just going to start losing all of a sudden. Just at this point, get to the end of the season and and start figuring out what we want to do with our own team. Because obviously, we didn't have much wiggle room to make our own team. Because the first transfer had already, of course, he saved that one. The first transfer had already happened by the time we joined, and then the second transfer, we just didn't have enough money to do anything with it anyway. Not that I'm expecting much money next year because our finances are atrocious. Um, I'm really just plugging whoever in here. I don't really care at this point. It's not going to make a difference. Elgin. Oh, there's Darov. He should score this one, but he won't. And neither will Galgen. Should score, but won't. That goalkeeper has stopped everything except the one. Oh, my goodness. He's not even got that high of a rating, but it just feels like all the highlights we're seeing are him stopping us from doing something. Uh, all right. I'm just going to bring you out of here. Just get somebody fresh in there. All right. Well, there's that. We tried. Yeah, we tell them that they did their best. Psh, I don't think so. <laughs> they didn't do nothing. The only thing we've got going for us is that Kimki has like apparently not done much. But that makes it almost worse because we've had a chance to catch up with them and we just couldn't. I'll take the loss to this guy. Okay, uh, fine. I will accept the loss to the top three team here. But it's the other losses that led up to this that should not have happened. We should not have lost to Chertanova. We should not have lost to Baltica. Um, for sure. We shouldn't have lost any of these three. Those should have been uh, draws at worst, wins at best. And then we'd be knocking on the door of the playoffs right now, even with this loss. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to show any more episodes or not. I, I just don't know at this point. I think I might skip all the way down to maybe the very last thing here. Maybe show something down here. If it gets interesting again, I will. But right now, it's just mid-table finish. It's just whatever. Blah. <laughs> you know? So we shall see. Um, but I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I do hope you join me again next time. Thank you. And goodbye.